Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all honor, praise, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Double honor to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone and Rue Well. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect pushing the true doctrine across the four winds of the earth and all true fan and sincerity. I'm Lamad Ariyah from the Mississippi Camp. Lord willing, this be an edifying lesson. And this lesson just going into, um, you know, not quitting or you're not truly, uh, no one truly lose unless they quit, right? No one truly lose unless they quit. I'll title it something to that effect. Because if, if you if you in a race and you um and you uh don't come in first place, second place, whatever, but you finish the race, you cross that finish line, truly you didn't lose because you never gave up. You finished the race. And that's what it's all about, okay? It's all about actually finishing the race, finishing your course, completing your mission, okay? And in this truth, man, that's what we gotta do, man. We gotta keep on pushing. We gotta keep on fighting, hey, until we receive those bombs, okay? And it's not, no one said it was going to be easy. You know, the Lord said he chastened those whom he loved. So we're going to go through different, you know, things, infirmities, you know, hard troubles, you know, uh, uh, issues with your woman, your uh, parents, family members, children, whatever the case may be. But at the end of the day, the fight goes on. The race continues, man, until your how about Shimmy outside says different. And we got to pray to the Lord that we continue to uh, uh, be in his good grace, his mercy, and have his strength, man, to continue to have hope and faith, to continue in the fight that we may be uh, found worthy of being part of the hopeful elect. Because the scripture goes, too many are called, but a few are chosen. So we don't know for sure that we are of the elect. But we are doing what's required of the, uh, 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 we are doing what the Lord's elect will be doing, man. And Abarak and Silas, men who are doing this work, you know, in the name of Yahweh Bashimi Shai, magnifying the name of Yahweh Bashimi Shai, bringing out prophecies and teaching according to the scriptures that we are those men. But one thing for sure, if, if you quit or if we quit, or if we, you know, stop and go back to this world, man, which is equivalent of us quitting, okay, then that's when you truly lose, man. All right? So I'm going to get a couple of scriptures here and I'm going to close it out. This is the book of Luke, chapter 9, verse 62. And Yahweh Shai said unto him, No man having put his hand to the plow, and looking back, it's fit for the kingdom of the most high, right? So, if you take your hand off the plow, meaning if you stop doing the work, okay? If you stop doing the wheel of Yahweh Bashimi Shai, if you go back into the world, if you leave the ministry because you want to do worldly things, then you have quit, quit on the most high and your high was shot. You have quit on the heavenly father, the son, man. That means what? You didn't truly believe in your house. You truly didn't believe in the ministry. And, and, and your, your, your uh, faith and belief lies somewhere else. So that's going to be a big L for you, man. You're going to lose. Okay. Cause this world is, is temporary. This kick, oh, so like it, this kingdom has an expiration date in this region. So if you take your hand off the plow and go back to doing worldly things, being of the world, 
go back and being indoctrinated in this Western philosophy type living ways, you're gonna, hey man, you're gonna be destroyed, man. You know, that's 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 the only way, especially being in this truth and turning away from the uh truth, man. Put your take your hand off the plow. Hey, the Lord said it'd be better better that they have not known the truth, man. It's better that they have not known the truth. To be in the truth and turn away from it, you would be better off of having not ever known it. And just continue to be in the world, then the, the, the judgment you receive for being in the truth and turning your back on this truth, man. Lord uh, uh, reveal secrets unto men. You know, bring me bring uh men together. You know, you get to know brothers, you get to know brothers' families, where brothers live, how brothers move, and then you turn your back on the ministry, man. Hey, the Lord ain't he ain't he ain't uh gonna let that go unpunished, uh, man. Okay. So it's best to continue to fight, man, tooth and nail, to remain in this truth, man. Pray you have Hashem Yahushua to allow us to stay into stay in this truth, man. Because nothing in this world is worth leaving the truth for. You get another scripture here. I'm not trying to make it too long. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 26, verse 11. As a dog returning to his vomit, so a fool returning to his folly. Because if you go back into this world, man, you're going to go back doing the same old shit, the same old dumb stuff, but worse. Okay? Your house is going to be unclean, and that what that that, that one spirit is going to bring back seven spirits. So you're going to have all these different corrupt, evil, wicked, conniving, deceiving spirits on you gonna have you all jacked up in your brain and you're gonna be worse off than you were before you come into the truth and that's that's a horrible way to be I don't want to know what it's like but hey brothers have witnessed men who was in this truth who have come into this ministry and, and have left for whatever reason and then continue in the work and who bugged the hell out And that's not what what you want, okay? And and we gotta have patience, man. Hey, the Lord' words are faithful and true, man. He said He go to prepare a place for us, and where we are, he, where He is, we will be also, man. But we have to have patience, man, and let the Lord do what He do, man. We only have a couple of prophecies, major prophecies, to uh, come to pass, man. Okay. The implement of the uh, MOTB and uh, WW3, okay? We in the midst of the brewing of uh, Jacob's trouble. So we almost there, man. And what? El Deposit to Har. Dean what? Through the Spirit of Yahweh Bashi Shai, 2023. The hopeful year that all prophecies come to pass, man. And that's what brothers are hoping and praying for. Okay? This is the book of Ecclesiastes. Chapter 9, verse 11. And it reads, um, I returned and I saw under the sun that the race is not for the swift, nor the battle to the strong, neither the bread to the wise, nor yet riches to men of understanding nor yet favor to men of skill, but time and chance happen to them all. So, hey, man, we got to be patient, man, and just, hey, one day at a time through the Spirit of Yahweh, send me out shot, man. Okay? Just, just, hey, go, hey, be wise as a serpent, harmless as a dove, use this world, not abuse this world, okay? And, and, and just, do the work and wait upon your shot. It's, 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 it's simple. 
when you really think about it, it's simple. Do the work, be patient, have faith, keep the hope, and wait on your house shot. You know? It's not, it's not a bad deal for the reward that comes for doing it. Eternal life, okay, you know, immortality, being part of that first fruit, the governing body of the kingdom of heaven, man. Under your house, King David, the 12, okay, and the rest of the 144,000, right? Not a bad deal if you ask me. I'm with it. But we just got to, you know, we got to keep pushing, man, and have faith, keep our hope, you know, do the work. Like I say, it just, you know, wait on your house shot, man. Be brotherly, you know, fast, get counsel, you know, whatever the case may be. But pray that the Lord keep you in this truth, that the Lord allow you to keep his oil, man, okay? To keep us in this truth. Let me let me clarify this. Pray to the Lord to keep us in this truth, right? Allow the Lord, ask the Lord to allow us to keep his oil. All right, got another scripture here. This is the book of 2 Timothy chapter 4. Start uh, at uh, chapter 4. So like, yeah, 2 Timothy chapter 4, starting at verse 7. I have fought a good fight. I have finished. I have finished my course. I have kept the faith. Right. And this, this hey, this is the uh, Apostle Paul, man. Who, who was doing the will of the Lord, okay? He was doing the will of the Lord. He was uh, 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 going through his own things, you know what I'm saying? Thorn in his side. He had his infirmities, okay? He was dealing with particular things of the world, but he didn't stop. He didn't stop running the race, okay? He, he kept his hand to the plow. He didn't go back into the world, right? And he finished his course, man. And that's 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 winning. Okay? Because like I say, no one truly loses unless they quit. Okay, we all have our own lots, man. We just have to continue in our lot. Verse 8. Henceforth, there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness, which the Lord Yahweh the righteous judge shall give me in that day. Well, let me say, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, because we know Yahweh Shah is the one who's going to be handing out those, those palms, those crowns, right? Shall give me in that day, and not to be, me only, but unto all them that also, that also, that to all them also that love his appearing. So, hey, in a nutshell, man, us who continue in this faith, doing the work, you know, finish our race, hey, stand stiffly for the name of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, as it's spoken of in uh, Second Ezra. We're going to receive those uh, palms, that crown of life, man. And we do that by not quitting, by finishing our course, okay? So, hey, again, you never truly lose unless you quit. So, Lord willing, this is an edifying lesson. I want to give all honor, praises, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Wakakadak, double honor to our apostles and elders of great millstone that rule well, peace and salutation to the hopeful elect. Shalom.